let's make today a trap so beat i'm going to put a slow bpm yeah 92 and i want to start with this bass right here and then after we build the chords over it Yeah, that that will be it. All right, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste over a pad like this one. Let's paste right here. Let's build the chords over it. The chords will be like this. I can build the chords just looking by the grid over here. If you want to build chords the simple way, is basically make a white note, skip a white note, a white note, skip a white note, and make a white note. So you only be using white notes. This is the easiest way to build chords. In this case, I will not be using this because uh, I'm using the key of D minor and D minor is not only white keys there is for example this one this black notes so what I usually do is just go right here on FL studio and I put right here minor natural and I put D minor I mean I put D right here and minor right here so the grid right here will be the bright lines are the notes inside of the key and the darker lines are notes out of the key. So, you basically take the same idea that I said before. Oh, a uh, white note, skip a white note, white note, skip a white note, a white note. You do the same by just looking by the grids right here. So, you make a bright line, skip this bright line, bright line, skip this bright line, and bright line. And you make the chords, you can just build the chords like I did right here, super fast. I have some other kind of dark stuff right here. I have this too. All right. Let's copy those chords. I don't want to paste on um, other pads. I have this pad right here, which is a little weird, but I want to make this chord, this, I mean, this instrument with a automation clip. So let's make an automation clip and I want to make something like this. So the volume will increase. All right. I have right here a piano too. I don't know if we need to put a piano. Let's hear it. A piano, usually if you want to make the piano more powerful, you can copy those. Those are the tonic notes of the chords. You can copy them octave lower, like this, two times. This is actually too low.
I think we can use this. And let's make a melody with this bell right here. this all right let's make the drums room now And the hi-hats, let's play a bit. All right. Now let's make the bass, and the bass, we will basically copy the first notes that we started, this right here, and we are going to paste right here, octave lower, octave lower, yeah, and we might make some changes, I mean some octaves, change some octaves sometimes. and that will be the base and we only will need a different base for the verse I don't like those kind of bass all the way in, uh, in the verses so this will be on the chorus and this other one we are going to make right now will be for the verse the bass will be cut at every time the snare hits so will be this right here so the bass will hit every time the kick hits and will be cut by the snare so this is 
is the bass for the verse and the bass for the chorus. I just let the bass playing here all the time. And the last thing that we need is the crash. And if you like it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about making beats, there is my online course. First link on the description. You can start right now because it's an online course. So this is the base. The only thing we need to do right here is to tra structure and you can structure the way you want, right? Intro, chorus, verses and all of this stuff. So this is the beat and I'll see you in the next video.